Hello guys, I uh, hope everyone is doing well today. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna talk about the sub pixel uh, laid out uh, for the M27Q uh, gigabit uh, monitor. Uh, this is the monitor that I'm using right now. So I did a review, actually not a review, mostly a um, revision comparison between the revision 1.0 and 2.0 on this monitor. And I actually forgot to uh, talk about it, the sub pixel uh, layout in uh, this monitor between the revisions. So uh, I contacted uh, Gigabit customer support. I wrote an, um, an email uh, trying to find out uh, what's the difference in when it comes to sub pixel lay layout between revision 1.0 and 2.0, and I still didn't get an answer. Uh, so I did some tests by myself. So as you know, revision 1.0 comes with the BGR subpixel lay layout. BGR means the colors are going blue, green, red in the subpixel lay layout. So you know this site, uh, ratings.com, right? And uh, they did the test over there. So uh, if you're watching videos and stuff, it doesn't matter to you. Uh, when it comes actually uh, to reading, and text, this actually has an importance. So as you see, this is for Gigabit M27Q and from the pictures and stuff that they have on the website uh, based on the back of the monitor and stuff, this is revision 1.0 and in the ratings uh, they are saying uh, that the revision 1.0 it's a BGR subpixel lay laid out where uh, what leads to actually the text clarity not being as uh, great. So again, if you're watching videos or playing games, this is not going to affect you at all. This only affects you when you're doing mostly reading and stuff, how clear, uh, how clear the text is on the screen. So revision 1.0 comes with the BGR subpixel layout. If you go to the manufacturer website, uh, there is no information whatsoever. Uh, between revision 1.0 and revision 2.0 uh, in regards to the sub-pixel layout. Okay? So, as you see here, nothing is mentioned anywhere uh, what kind of sub-pixel lay layout 2.0 has, even the 1.0. So, I did some testing by myself. All right, so let me show that I'm actually I'm running this monitor right now. See, I have an M27Q revision 2.0 connected to a 47 TTI. That's that with a color formatted of RGB. All right, so I took manners in my own hand and I was actually curious about that too. So I did some research and dig deeper and this is what I found. So there is a website right here. I'm going to go to this one first, uh, this one here. What you can do actually, you can run a script right here. It's a pretty neat script, all right? So this right here represents the background of this. This color, the second one, represent, represents the text. So what I did actually, I did two, three things actually. I, uh, I use the RGB. 120 brightness to 100 to 120 for the background and the reason I made the, the middle one a little bit less intense to be able to distinguish in between better in between the red green and blue better and then for the text right here inside of this I chose I did three cases uh, number one uh, green zero that means for the text I'm gonna get only the red and the blue Number two, I switched to the blue being zero, getting only red and green. And same thing in the final situation when I or when I made the red to be uh, zero. So basically this all happens. Let's say if we switching this to zero and we do 200 here to have it intense, right? And you run the script, you notice that the text right here changes it. All right, so the first test that I did was I've, I've set the green to zero. 
and I got this text. Next, next. The only way actually to find out the subpixel physically, you need to zoom in into the screen. So uh, I got a magnifying glass 50 times, 50x magnifying glass that I've set at a distance to the screen, making sure that uh, it's going to give me most of it. And then using a professional camera, I zoomed in into that. Uh, I've tried to do, I've tried also to do that with macro lenses too. But the picture came kind of blurry so after zooming into this text right here all right the situation where the green is zero i got this picture all right so in the background right here for the background in this picture for the background which is this color you're getting red 120 green 100 blue 120 intensity for the text right here the green is set to zero so this is the picture that i was able to take to my professional ca camera zooming in so if you zoom even more right here you actually can see the sub pixels lay out so you have red green blue this is the background and this is the text right here where the green is zero so you have red space the green zero blue so this picture shows the sub pixel layout for m27 q revision 2 it's r g b red green blue okay this is the first test the second test what i did i've set the for i left the background the same and i've set the blue to zero and i ran the script and i got basically background didn't change i got this text now i've took a zoomed in picture on that and i got basically this if you zoom even more this is what we're getting so back this is the background we have red we have green and we have blue right here right red green and blue in the text is set to zero so red green and blue in the text is zero again this looks like an rgb the final test was setting the red to zero for the text and the other two to 200 ran the script got this text right zoomed in and took a picture so this is the i got i know this is kind of washed out here when you zoom in actually the colors are pretty pretty clear so background we get all the colors at 120 100, 120 and for the text i've set the red to zero that's why there is no red in here this was ta uh, taken like zoomed in 50 times with the professional camera it's actually more than that again zooming in we get for the background which is red 100 green it's a red it's 120 green it's 100 blue it's 120 and this is the result that you get again it's r g b so it looks like the revision 2.0 it's uh, looks like it's an r g b text okay now another thing that i did i went to this website because there is a lot of information online uh, the lago lcd monitor test pages right and what they say right here you have actually two tests over here text text number one so if you look at this picture zoomed in right if your monitor is rgb you should have a black line on this side right here so I took a zoomed in picture of that and this is the black line that they're saying about so if as they're saying your monitor isn't it's an RGB you are supposed to have a black line on the left which I have right here and the last test that I did it's actually is with adjust clear type uh, basically Windows has a thing which is called adjust clear type where you can actually make the text look look way way 
cleaner and sharper on your screen right so I already use that this is the thing so uh, what it does it, it goes for a couple of steps actually that make you choose which box uh, which text is clearer and sharper uh, for you so so this is my monitor here all right so right at the beginning you presented with two boxes now this box is for rgb this one is for bgr so uh, i'm doing the test if the monitor is rgb red green blue sub pixel I let out this is supposed to be clear this is bgr this is supposed to be more clear so for me i don't know if you see it on the video but for me this one right here it's way way sharper cleaner and way more easier uh, to read not blurry at all this one over here which is for bgr it's a little bit washed out and a little bit blurry now i have another monitor which i know 100 percent it's uh, rgb uh, because i found the reviews on the ratings page and again on that monitor the first box is way way sharper so this is the stuff that comes from windows and again on this website right here right the another thing they have right here so if you look at all this text right here you choose the one that looks sharper for you so but again this is kind of this is what they're saying i'm basing my decision based on the physical stuff right here that i was able to take with the camera and zoom in r g b basically physical uh, looking in and what we're saying over here is uh the text that it's sharper and cleaner shows your sub pixel layout so the sub pixel rgb right here this line on my monitor looks sharp uh, clean and uh, no blurry whatsoever but again this is just a website i'm basing my findings on the pictures that i took so um, that's kind of all the information that i have on this uh, monitor again i'm still waiting i'm actually i've resended the email to jigbit i'm uh, trying to find out um, uh, officially from them what they're saying but that for that i still uh, didn't uh, get an answer so logically thinking are uh, usually on the uh, manufacturers moving bit from create new revisions and stuff like that uh, usually they change or improve something so revision 1.0 it's a great monitor their biggest uh, minus was the text clarity because of the bgr again for revision 1.0 and it kind of makes sense for the manufacturer to create revision 2.0 all right to uh, address that issue because this is a great monitor and um, as i've said in another video um, there are some uh, basically the only difference is visually from 1.0 to 2.0 it's how the support is mounted and uh, the colors color saturation revision 2.0 by the specs it's uh, better uh, other than that that's kind of it so uh, from all my findings looks like revision 2.0 it's an rgb uh, monitor uh, i never had uh, any issues with the text uh, the text on my uh, monitor always looked sharp uh, clean and uh, no blurry uh, whatsoever so this is what i wanted to share with you guys so uh, feel free to shoot me a message if you have any questions, enjoy the rest of your day.